Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important session for IBPS RRB Scale 2 and Scale 3 exam. So students in this session we are going to learn the financial awareness from 1st of September to 10th of September. So the RRB Scale 2 Scale 3 exams are going to happen I guess on 24th of this month. So that is why we are uh, doing the financial awareness for 10 days right. So let's start the session with India records the double digit growth in the first quarter of 23, 2023. So very important students, yes, ko yaad karke chale and this data is from National Statistical Office. So NSO se data aya hai. What is the growth rate? That is the 13.5%. So first quarter ka growth rate jo hai, that is 13.5%, right? 13.5%. This is important by NSO. Please remember that. What is the GDP growth rate of India in the first quarter of 2023 as per the data released by the NSO, National Statistical Office? How much that is? That is 13.5%. 13.5% is the correct answer okay and moody's cut india's growth forecast so the moody's the global rating agency so it cut down the india's growth forecast so it uh, the moody says it is 7.7 percent so as per moody's the growth number of india would be 7.7 percent right so please remember that that is what you are supposed to remember 7.7 percent according to moody's moody was founded in 19 109 and it has its headquarters at New York. So 7.7% is the growth rate number by the Moody's for India in the year 2022. Okay. And IMF approves the loan. IMF approves the loan for Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is going through tough times economically. So International Monetary Fund uh, and the Sri Lanka, they reached a preliminary agreement for four year 2.9 billion dollar uh, bailout package right so the loan is aimed at restoring the economic stability and debt sustainability for Sri Lanka so it is a 48 months program which will introduce major tax reforms including the broadening of tax base for the corporate income tax and what and making income tax more progressive right so the inflation numbers uh, they are strange it was 64.3 percent is the inflation rate in 2022 and food inflation is 93.7 percent but what you are supposed to remember IMF approves the loan to Sri Lanka bailout package of 2.9 billion dollars that is important that's all what is important okay so recently for which country did IMF launch the bailout package of 2.9 billion it is Sri Lanka it is Sri Lanka okay and the SEBI issues the guidelines for stock brokers what are the guidelines the major guidelines are what is the objective of these guidelines to prevent mis selling on the name of algorithmic uh, algorithmic trading right so what are algorithmic trading services so there are a lot of uh, you know uh, service providers so they claim that uh, they are having some sort of uh, you know uh, systems uh, that can automatically make money for the traders right so sebi uh, you know issued these guidelines to prevent the instances of mis selling so sebi has also warned the bro uh, the stock brokers who indulges in providing algorithmic based trading facilities offered by unregulated platforms right so algorithmic trading refers to use of advanced mathematic mathematical for models that contained automated execution of the trades to generate the results at super fast pace right so sebi has come up with the guidelines proper guidelines for that not really important so rbi is uh, rbi issued guidelines for the digital banking so uh, RBI said that the new norms will be applicable to the existing uh, customers availing the fresh loans and to the new customers. So these guidelines are applicable to the existing customers who are getting loans from the digital platform, from the online platform, existing customers taking the new loan loans or the new customers. Okay. So as per these uh, guidelines, the regulatory entities like banks and BFCs, these are directly regulated by the RBI. 
they need to ensure that all the loan services repayments etc shall be executed directly uh, you know by the borrower to the accounts of the regulated entity so if you they are collecting the uh, emis the emi should move directly from borrower's account to regulated entity which is a bank or nbfc agar borrower ne loan liya hai to loan directly bank ke account se borrower ke account mein jaye right aur agar borrower emi pay kar raha hai to directly borrower ke account se bank ke nbfc ke account mein jaye jisse bhi liya hai मिडल मैन के पूल अकाउंट में पैसा नहीं जाना चाहिए थर्ड पार्टी के पूल अकाउंट में पैसा नहीं जाना चाहिए दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड फर्दर सारी जो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज हैं जो रिसेंटली गाइडलाइंस भी आई हैं रिलेटेड टू द रिकवरी एजेंट्स द रेगुलेटेड एंटिटी द रेगुलेटेड एंटिटीज आर इज आर लाइबल जो लाइबिलिटी सारी बनती है वो रेगुलेटेड एंटिटीज की ही बनती है यहाँ पे भी ठीक है लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड इंडिया ओवरटेक्स यूनाइटेड किंगडम टू बिकेम टू बिकम द फिफ्थ लार्जेस्ट इकोनॉमी इन द वर्ल्ड जो यूएस चाइना जापान जर्मनी दे आर द नंबर वन टू थ्री जर्मनी एट फोर इंडिया इज द फिफ्थ लार्जेस्ट इकोनॉमी right and uh, we just recently surpassed the uk okay so india has surpassed which country to become fifth largest economy india surpassed uk right so rbi to digitize uh, kisan credit card so kisan credit card ko jo hai digitize uh, kara ja raha hai in the states of madhya pradesh and tamil nadu and gradually pure india mein is, is project ko digitize kiya jayega and we have already taught kisan credit cards a lot of times the pilot project for digitizing the kisan credit card will be launched by the rbi indusind and adb join the hands right so asian development bank is going to provide a loan uh, to indusind bank for which purpose purpose kya hai to provide loans to M msmes with the supply chain financing so msmes ko loan chahiye hote hain for supply chain तो उसकी फाइनेंसिंग के लिए ए डी बी वुड प्रोवाइड फाइव सिक्सटी करोड़ रुपीज और सेवेंटी मिलियन डॉलर टू द इंडसेंट बैंक इंडसेंट बैंक एंटर्ड द यू नो द एम ओ यू द लोन अग्रीमेंट विद एशियन डेवलपमेंट बैंक सो नीति बी एम जी डायलॉग ऑन डेवलपमेंट कॉपोरेशन सो बिटवीन नीति बी एम जी द इनागरल नीति बी एम जी डायलॉग ऑन द डेवलपमेंट कॉपोरेशन हेल्ड बिटवीन द नीति आयोग एंड जर्मन फेडरल Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development via video conferencing, right? So there was an event. So goal was sustainable development goals, climate change, energy transition, emerging technologies, agro ecology. In topics, we talked about it between Niti Aayog and the two German key agency. So Niti BMZ dialogue on the development co uh, cooperation was held between India and which nation? We are talking about Germany. Okay. so 28th edition of the uh, status report on india's external debt so yahan pe kya dekhne wala hai dhyan se dekhiye right the important point here is india's external debt grew by 8.2% and it is now 620.7 billion dollars 620.7 billion dollar is the india's external debt and uh, forex reserves to external debt ratio is 97.8% percent. hamare paas foreign re forex ka reserve kitna hai as compared to the uh, our loans external debt to the gdp ratio is 19.9% so please remember that that is important okay india's external debt for financial year 2022 is 620.7 billion अपना फॉरेन रिजर्व्स कितने हैं राइट एंड अपना डेट कितना है दीज आर द टू नंबर्स विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई हैव सीन देम इन द प्रीवियस एग्जाम पिछले सालों में बहुत बार ऐसे क्वेश्चंस पेपर में आते हैं तो इसका ध्यान रखें ईसा एफ एस एफ एस एफ बी स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक रेमबो सेविंग अकाउंट ट्रांसजेंडर कम्युनिटी के लिए ई सैफ स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक ने यह प्रोडक्ट लॉन्च किया है रेमबो सेविंग अकाउंट दैट इज फॉर द ट्रांसजेंडर कम्युनिटी so for the transgender community ke liye bank of india is a first public sector bank to go live on the you know newly launched direct tax uh, collection system 102.0 to direct tax collection system 102.0 uh, pe bank of india jo hai pehla public sector bank hai theek hai 
so this is a question which psu bank became the first to go live on tin 2.0 that is bank of india okay so agni bazaars kisan safalta card jo kisan credit card hai wo to government lekar aati hai lekin there is an another uh, you know organization similar sa ek product lekar aaye hain similar to kisan credit card so this is the product uh, for the farmers jo pre or post harvesting season mein jo paise chahiye hote hain farmers ko uske liye theek hai so 12 month repayment ka period hai isme so it's by agri bazaar agri bazaar kisan safalta card wa agri bazaar so private entity hai max life uh, uh, smart flexi pro, uh, protect launch ये एक प्रोडक्ट है बेसिकली इसमें क्या है कि वेल्थ इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ थ्री प्रोडक्ट्स वेल्थ प्लस क्रिटिकल इलनेस एंड डिसेबिलिटी सो क्रिटिकल इलनेस डिसेबिलिटी एंड वेल्थ मैनेजमेंट तीनों प्रोडक्ट्स मिक्स करके एक नया प्रोडक्ट बनाया गया है फ्लेक्सी प्रोडक्ट नॉट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू रिमेंबर ओके सो इंडिया इंडियन रेलवेज रेवेन्यू शूट अप सो शूट अप बाई थर्टी एट परसेंट टू नाइनटी फाइव थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एंड एटी so there is an increase of 26271 crore because of the weak base base weak tha due to the covid situations the revenues were down but now we are showing a 38% growth in the revenues passenger traffic grew by 116% due to the covid lockdowns the the traffic was not that much so revenue grew by 38% and rbi is uh, sold 13 billion dollar worth of uh, you know uh, dollars actually बिकॉज इंडियन रुपी वॉज गोइंग डाउन आई एन आर था इन इंडियन रुपी का वैल्यू डिप्रिशिएट होता जा रहा था इट इट वॉज गोइंग बिलो एटी रुपीज अस्सी रुपीज को भी तोड़ रहा था दैट इज वाई आर बी आई हैड टू बैलेंस द डिमांड एंड सप्लाई दैट इज वाई आर बी आई सोल्ड थर्टीन बिलियन डॉलर इन द मार्केट ओके इन द ओपन मार्केट टू स्टेबलाइज द एक्सचेंज रेट आर बी आई सोल्ड थर्टीन बिलियन डॉलर इन द इन द मंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू जी एस टी रेवेन्यू क्रॉस वन पॉइंट फोर लाख करोर्स तो ये एक डायरेक्ट सिग्नल होता है कि इफ़ आर इकोनॉमी इज़ डूइंग वेल द स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया लॉन्च द फर्स्ट कैश बैक एस बी आई कार्ड दे लॉन्च द फर्स्ट कैश बैक एस ऑन ऑल द ऑनलाइन पेमेंट्स यू आर गोइंग टू गेट फाइव परसेंट कैश बैक एंड इट इज़ एस बी आई स्प्रिंट एड ऐप पर आप इसको ले सकते हो एंड कंपटिशन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया अप्रूव द हंड्रेड परसेंट एक्विजेशन ऑफ Uh, acquisition of india ideas so pay you uh, private payments private limited jo hai they are going to buy india ideas and cci approved it and business lines change maker financial transformation award business line change maker uh, financial transformation award jo hai uh, won by zerodha and finance minister nirmala sitaraman she presented it okay so i guess uh, that's all for today students i hope you like the today's session so you should join the crash course by bank exams today ibps rrb gbo scale 2 scale 3 uh, crash course it's available on bankexamstudy.com we are providing daily classes video sessions are there no notes test series uh, a special power capsule it's part of the course power capsule is there a special power capsule is there and then we have prepared a proper question bank we are providing a proper question bank uh, proper quizzes notes test series interview preparation guidance everything is in, is included in the course you can just join it list of our successful students in 2021 all these students who took our courses in 2021 and they cracked their respective exams in 2020 all these students who took our courses in 2020 2019 in the previous years and if there is any doubt in your mind students you can always ask your doubts this is my number 9067201000 this is my personal whatsapp number in case of any doubt uh, drop your queries and we are going to answer your doubts and that's actually all for today students subscribe the channel and like this video because that's really really important for me thank you and have a very nice day bye bye